I'm Harley Dean and today I'm doing it for the gram. A 21 year old who's just got a first bottle of decent aftershave, I think, decided to blur out the edges as well to show my photography skills. Yeah, the less said about that one, the better, I think, but I imagine it's going to get worse. No tattoo, um, not ashamed of this one's from my granddad. Um, I think it was the first bit of writing I got, and uh, you might have seen when I score, I always give it a kiss as well, so. Paint party, oh, back in the days, no kids, no responsibilities. Um, where was we? Watford it was. This was at Southampton at the time. That's George Savile's brother, funny enough, not that you all know who he is, but um, yeah, paint party, top off, liquid, I think. Just giving it stacks, I think it was, and uh, looked like I was having a good time. Me and Harry Forrester. To be fair, I could have got a watermelon up there. These nostrils are like the Dartford Tunnel. Um, what does it say? Only grapes would fit up mine. And, yeah, and nostrils, we have got big nostrils. He's got the same nose as me as well. Poor bar, I can't say that, can I? That was lucky. <laughs> Terry Butcher. This, this, this seemed like, like something that was abnormal at the time, but now playing here and seeing Juki have one every match, don't, I don't know why I put this picture up. I actually split my ear there, and I've like, it's still split, it seems a bit out of shape now. That, I wasn't born like that, I was born perfect. <sighs> yeah, it's just another Player of the Year award. Um, I don't know if that was the first or the second one. Um, but no, yeah, proud of that. Loving the suit as well. I think it's the first decent suit I ever bought. Gone with a pocket square. Sam Sorden's influence. Never wore one in my life. Rinsed the life out of that suit for four Cheltenhams, I think. Semi-final playoffs. Emotional roller coaster. Lost to Doncaster on the last day. Missed the penalty. Uh, drew one all at Swindon. And then we was three one up with eight minutes to go, I think. I think they brought it back to three all. Went to penalties. Scored my pen. Um, and then we just got rushed on the pitch. I think all, all of the fans jumped on, but no, great memories there. Playoff final, that's my family. My medal, masks made, um, obviously with me, so, so that I could see him in the crowd. But the funniest story out of all of that is, we had a physio who's now the QPR physio, Daryl Martin. And um, afterwards, obviously we lost the game, but we had a bit of a celebration afterwards in a hotel, all the staff and players. and. Um, Daryl comes up to me with his missus and uh, she pulls one of the masks out from behind her back and said, just to let you know, I'm going home with Daryl tonight, but he's wearing this in the bedroom. <laughs> and I didn't really know how to take it. I was 22 years old, but each to their own. Oh, decent. This is the worst thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> if you, had the, you ain't got the video, have you? Oh, mate, there's a bit, so that, oh, I can't even talk. So I've gone to Paris with the missus. We put a terrible video up on Instagram on Love Lock, Padlock Bridge, or whatever it's called. We've done the padlock, all video, video their footsteps going <laughs> down there. We've thrown the key in, and she says, when we throw the key in, say, I love you. I think she's going to say it back to me, like we're going to say it at the same time. So I threw the key in, I said, I love you, the video cuts off. My mate's got hold of it, he's obviously put it up in here, but then that weren't just it. So we've, we were away at Colchester, remember it, like just yesterday, we were away at Colchester, and, that morning we uh, wake up at breakfast and the gaff goes, right lads, we're all going in here, we're watching uh, Uwe Rosa at the time, we're watching Soccer AM. I was thinking, what are we watching Soccer AM together for? So I sit down and on comes the video live on Soccer AM. Oh mate, I've never been, video obviously got deleted off my Instagram, hence why you haven't got it, but mate, that is the soppiest bit of banner I've ever done in my life. Oh, Yeah, caption says it all, I was gutted, I paid for them. I don't know what I was thinking. Pantofolo de Oros they are. Real, real quality boot, like the leather and stuff like that. But look at the states of them. Look at the toe cap on them. Wow, that's bad. I was having the beard, weren't I? That's, that's, that's all this picture says to me, I'm having the beard. Because I definitely didn't win. It says chicken dinners all day, I didn't win, that was a lie. Just having the beard. And probably the little gold tie, green. Yeah, it looks good to be fair, doesn't it? So this is in Vegas, uh, I think it's Hackersan, and we've gone in and this has come up on the screen. But we went up second, I think. Wolves went up first that year. Wolves were in there with us. So they were the champions, but we was getting this on the thing. We was thinking, I weren't embarrassed at all. I absolutely loved it, I'm not gonna lie, but um, no, that was a, yeah, it was a great trip, that one. 
family, it's my mum, dad, and my brothers. Look how young they look. Look at the ear rolls on him as well, Jesus. I ain't seen that photo in years. Um, yeah, that's me, so I'm standard with a little Haviana and a jean or a trouser on holiday. You've got to let the feet breathe and you're always trapped in your boots. I do get a lot of grief for that, to be honest, but I'm not really one to be bothered about grief. Very good flyboarding. It was, it was quite new at the time. What's that? Yeah, five years ago. Um, did that on holiday. But can't make that in half knack you out. This was our first outs in Brentford. Uh, it was a probate, so obviously the lady had passed away and bought it and renovated it all. So that's, that's my granddad just uh, chipping in the doors out so we can get the locks in. And um, yeah, it was, uh, it was nice moments like that when you can do stuff with, like, as it says, three generations and people come around and help and um, you remember things like that as opposed to other things for me. And I try and sort of instill that into Harley as well. Oh, wow. So I love my dogs. And that is Chunk's first walk, and I can't believe how small he is. Um, Chiswick Park. But yeah, no, you, well, you, you follow me on Instagram now, it's all about the dogs and my kids, isn't it? But that is uh, that's a serious picture. Harley, first born, yeah. I was crying for like a baby just before that as well, but um, there's no other, there is no better feeling than that first. Like when they cry, when they come out and they cry and you just hold them sort of thing. And, um, yeah, no, that's, that's, it's nice to catch photos like that. Some of the collection, I've got a big collection now. Um, been getting them done. Been collecting of, just not of everyone, just of sort of people that I know and people that I've played with. Like a lot of them boys have played with me with Brentford and they're at different teams and, and uh, just collected a load of shirts and, and just trying to put them up as many as possible, really. Got me um, Brentford shirt where I scored at Wembley with, um, just on the wall there. And then you've got the 1966 World Cup um, with a ticket and the programme. Oh, there's Dukes, Shea. Oh, don't break me up. Um, Austria, pre-season. Just riding back, and back from training. Looking quite big there as well. I think I've been in the gym with Yuki for a few months. I can't believe it was almost a year ago. That's the only thing that gets me about this picture. This year's been a nightmare in it, and it's going to be one after Christmas. It's ridiculous. I actually, like, because Lenny was born, I'd really enjoyed lockdown because I wouldn't have been able to spend that much time with him normally. So it was, it was nice to be around. I don't ever remember being with Harley in that newborn phase. So, um, no, it was good. It was enjoyable. I'm Harley Dean, and today I've done it for the gram.